Fuzz the Pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up your RFID with your uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm SSH'd into the Pi here. And as you can see here on my website, we have the wiring diagram for the uh, RFID connecting to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now, you're going to need a few jumpers here. So just connect the uh, RFID to the following pins here on the Raspberry Pi going from the uh, RFID. So SD8 of 24 and so on. So after that, we're going to need to enable uh, the SPI. So if we get in here, to the config and go down to interfacing and we need to click on P4 we hit yes <clears throat> then we can just tab out of that to finish so once you have that connected we're just going to do a reboot because we want to restart that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to issue a few commands here to uh, install some dependencies that we need. So we're just going to get back into the Pi here and we can just paste this in All right, so we have that installed, so we can just do a pip3 install SPI DEV. <clears throat> so this shouldn't take too long. Then we'll issue another. Well, we can just tab up. Then we can just Remove that and put MF or C522. Then once that's installed, we can uh, make a directory here. So now that that's installed, we can clear the screen. Then we can create a directory or FID. Then we can CD into it. And as you can see, obviously we have nothing in there. So we're just going to do a pseudo nano. And you can name this whatever you feel like, but we can just name it right. <clears throat> so what we are going to do is paste in the following command here. And we can do a control X, Y, and enter to save. Then we can do a sudo python 3, then the write.py. Now it's going to come up and ask you for new data. So we can just put in here. Uh, we can just put in Pi Guy. <clears throat> so, with that being said, now what we can do is we can just exit out of that with a Control C. Then we can do another sudo nano read dot. PY, as you can see here, we're already in, in the directory, so we could just do that. Then we can just copy the following code, paste it in here, and do another control X, Y, and enter. So now, if we go back to sudo python3 we can just run the read 
And now that that's running, let me find my key here. And there we go. I just took my little RFID key and put it on there. And as you can see, it read it. So that's pretty much about it. So there we go. Well, hopefully this helped out. I'll throw a link in the description to uh, my website for this uh, information here. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.